What's up guys? Welcome to episode 4 in the series of Teching Out Your RV. This being an Airstream base camp. Um, and we want to take a look today at a Zamp solar panel. Uh, now this is not one that goes on the roof. This is actually a fold-out one. So you could use this with any solar setup that you have. Um, even charging different things. Um, some of the, like, the big battery generators that are out there now um, from you know people... Uh, you know different companies out there like Zachary has one and uh, uh, I think Anchor has one, Narav Power has one. You can charge these things that have AC plugs in them via solar with this. Now, this is a 90 watt uh, power um, solar panel and you can see live the charge life. Uh, I'm going to say thank you to Zamp Solar for sending this to the show for uh, the episode. They also did provide Let's get it right here. A extension cable so we can reach the port. Now, if you're not familiar with the base camps, um, it comes with a pre-wired solar port. Um, so this is a 15-foot portable solar kit extension cable. And I don't know, you see the part number there? Maybe zoom in. There we go. And again, this is from Zamp Solar. So we'll use this. Um, you know, sometimes maybe you need to reach a little further to get some rays. Uh, that'll allow you to do it with a 15 foot cable. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at the panel and we'll set it up and we'll go from there. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've opened it up. That's what we see. It's a folded up solar panel. We're going to get this out and hook it up and you'll see what it looks like. And uh, again, 90 watts. So definitely a lot of power in this guy to uh, help provide some extra battery uh, juicing for your uh, uh, any RV really, but the the base camp as well. This will help uh, give us a little extra power input, especially when we're boondocking. So we'll be right back. Oh, and here is the goodness. So we've opened it up. This is the inside of the solar panel. Now we're going to try to zoom in here on a little bit of the information. Hopefully you'll be able to read this. There you can see the specs. Um, you know, basically the power range, 45 watt peak power, Pmax, power tolerance, but, uh, you know, again, these are 90 watt chargers. Um, as you can see here, it's got the solar charging controller here, uh, 12 volt, 10 amp digital. Um, it's got the little stands, and it's got a built-in cable, and then the connections here to uh, the chargers. So definitely cool stuff. We got some instructions, a quick start guide, user manual, all that good jazz. So we'll take that stuff out um, and uh, we'll read it when we need to. But uh, again, the onboard cable here um, in, uh, is right here. And again, we have the 15 foot extension if we need to extend that out anymore. Uh, so let's uh, finally get this set up. I did want to come back and show you the innards, um, what's behind the solar panel. All right, there you go, guys. We've got the solar panel set up. You can see here, now I don't have it in direct sun, so in violation of solar panel. And we are hooked right there to our solar ready port. Of course, I didn't have to use the clamps because those are when you directly wire into the battery, so they're still sitting here. So I did just uh, disconnect that and connect them with the correct. Uh, cable to the port. Now my uh, controller down here actually is reporting the amount of charge that this battery has and it does match uh, what the uh, battery controller inside of this RV does say. So I know I've got the correct setup compatible uh, with the, my, my batteries. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the wiring diagrams here. Now as you can see here, if you're going to charge your your batteries directly with those clamps, this would be your, your configuration. And they've got like how to wire it for two, how to wire it for three, um, how not to do it. And uh, you got to be careful so you don't uh, short out your batteries. Um, and then again, the way we're doing it uh, is with this guy, the Sidewell Solar Port. 
uh, is what we're installed into. So, uh, giving it a little more juice. So, again, I wanted to cover too some of the specifications here uh, on the type of batteries. Now, like I said, some of the features of this guy, you know, the advanced MCU control pulse with, with modulated PWM technology, which is high efficiency. It's a target for life. Uh, PO4, LTO, lithium, titanium oxide, gel, AGM, conventional lead, acid, wet, and calcium batteries. So it's compatible with all those types. And it's got a built-in regulator to prevent your battery from being overcharged. So that's a good thing too. Um, can be connected to the battery permanently to keep the battery fully charged. Um, so that's a, always a good thing too. Multi-charging protections against reverse polarity, short circuit, over temperature, over voltage, etc. Surface mount or flush panel mount options. So you could actually surface mount these somewhere if you wanted to. And uh, conformal coating circuit boards and plated terminals with will withstand hostile environments. Weatherproof and non-weatherproof selectable. So as you can see, um, you know, really, really good stuff here from Zamp Solar. So that is it. Uh, I'll have links in the show notes, guys, down there. So if you want to go check out Zamp Solar, they do have other uh, charging options. Definitely ones that you can mount on top that are more made for like roof mount. Um, this one here is really standard, kind of a portable version. I like it because it's thin. It comes with this case. Uh, I can stow and go pretty easy. Uh, it doesn't take up a lot of room. So being in this little RV, I do have uh, definitely space constraints. Uh, to think about. So I uh, really like the size of these. As you can see, they're just sitting here. Um, and it is actually adding some some uh, input into this. Not only the ones on the roof uh, that I have up top here, but now I'm adding this. Uh, you know, I, you could come in and you have shade over here on your roof. Uh, you you kind of always want shady camp spots. So it's good to have this option. Put it out 15, 20 feet uh, as far as you can get into some direct sunlight and pump some extra juice into your battery. Uh, definitely a, a definitely a nice option to have when you are, like I said, just camping, boondocking, whatever. Uh, you gotta like it. So anyway, guys, check the show notes again for links to Zamp Solar, more information on this particular model that we're featuring in the show. Um, and as always, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll continue the series of teching out our RV. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.